iconic American brand, Harley Davidson. We reported last night here President Trump lashing out after Harley Davidson said it was moving some production overseas because of the tariffs they say already having an impact on them. Well, tonight the president going even further, saying Harley Davidson motorcycles should never be built in another country. And he's now threatening them with new taxes. Here's ABC's Jonathan Carl tonight. President Trump not long ago hailed Harley Davidson as the ultimate American company. Made in America. Harley Davidson. Made in America. He promised to do great things for them. We want to make it easier for businesses to create more jobs and more factories in the United States. And you're a great example of it. But now, a year and a half later, the company is getting hit hard by the president's trade war and says new tariffs are forcing them to manufacture more bikes overseas. And now from the president, a threat. A Harley Davidson should never be built in another country. Never, the president tweeted. If they move, watch. It will be the beginning of the end. They surrendered, they quit. The aura will be gone and they will be taxed like never before. While Harleys sold in the U.S. are assembled here, the company has plants all over the world where it builds parts and motorcycles to sell in other countries. When the president slapped hefty tariffs on the European Union, they retaliated with a huge tax hike on Harleys sold in Europe raising the cost of a bike by about $2,200. The company calls its decision to make more bikes abroad its only sustainable option. So Harley-Davidson is using that as an excuse, and I don't like that. And I think the people that ride Harleys are not happy with Harley-Davidson, and I wouldn't be either. And John, President Trump now vowing that Harley-Davidson will pay for their decision, but I know you were reporting it on Capitol Hill. Tonight, some top Republicans warn it's the president's tariffs that have created the problem. Well, trade is one area where Republicans have been willing to tell the president that they think he is just flat wrong. Just look at what Republican Senator Ben Sass said in a statement. The problem isn't that Harley is unpatriotic. He said it's that tariffs are stupid. And he warns David that the president's trade policies could mean more job losses in America ahead. John Carl with us again tonight. Thank you, John. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.